I'm back you guys. So today's episode, I should be able to get to my barber. My barber is basically like one of my best friends. I've known him for years. And he's at, he's even came to the hospital to see me when I got into my accident. So me and him are really cool. And he's the only guy that I trust to do my hair. So you can see right now this is the before. <laughs> And then part two will be the after and me showing you the location that he has now. He has worked at, he had um, another shop before this one. And they're both in Arbondale, Florida. He used to live at a, um, a shop that he had rented out for across the street from a Walmart. But, um... <coughs> He, I guess it was costing him a lot, so then he start, He opened up a shop at the flea market here in Arvindale. So, since he's going there, I go there. I go to his shop any time that I can. I met him even before he had his own shop. He was working at a different store um, back in Arvindale, right next to the Arvindale Sonnet they used to work at when I was a manager. So I met him there many years ago. And then he opened his own shop, and I started going to his shop that was basically across the street from Walmart. And <clears throat> he's always tried to be there for me for anything, and me and him talked a lot about things. And he was the first person that bought my um, item that I had made for 3D printing and stuff, that wireless phone charger that I designed and made. He was the first person to buy it. I made two for him. Anyway, um, so I'm going to him today. I do have some stuff to give him because um, he told me that if I get anything that he thinks that he would like to get it for him. So I go to this Ben store. It's called Ben Hub here in, Ar in Lakeland. And um, what they do, they have like Amazon returns and Walmart returns. Just a whole bunch of items that people don't actually want anymore. And then they sell them for a lot cheaper than what they're worth. So I go there often and me and my family goes there. So because of that, um, I did, my son's mother found a pair of barber, um, not clippers, but the vest to help cut people's hair without the hair getting onto their clothes. So she gave it to me to give to him, and he said that if I find anything like that, just to make sure that I get it for him, and he'll pay me for it. But other than that, I mean, I don't expect to get any money out of him for anything. I got him some stuff just because he's always been there for me, so I felt like I should just get him something. I don't want to charge him for it. Anyway, um, he's Puerto Rican just like me, so I got him a lot of good stuff, I believe, that he would like. And um, part two will be me showing you the location that he has. He has he does really good job. He actually has an uh, employee that works for him as well. So there's two. There was three, but one of them stopped working for him. So right now it's just him and one other guy that I'm aware of. Anyway, um, so in part two, I'm going to show you the location that he's at and show you what he was able to cut how to cut how he's going to cut my hair and what it looks like so this is the before and then you'll see part two will be basically the after thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye